Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Nuke series. This is going to be episode 7, and in this episode I will be using the Lackman 556 assault rifle in polyatomic camo. So if you don't know what the Nuke series is, it's basically just a series where I'll be getting a nuke of every single weapon in the game, yes, including launchers, with the polyatomic camo on it, and I'll probably do the same again when I unlock Orion. So yeah, today we're using the Lackman 556. Um, we're play We're not playing Shoot House this time. I've uploaded plenty of videos now with Shoot House, and I think it's getting a bit boring. So I decided to change it up a little bit. Jumped into Quick Match. I, I decided because Hardpoint is so good, like it plays so well on Shoot House. I thought I'd give it a go on 66, and it re it plays really good in this game. So I think Hardpoint is a play this year, honestly, because I usually play Domination on every other card because the spawns are just really good. It it, like, it's, it lasts a nice amount of time, especially if the scores are equal, but, um, no, hardpoint's better, it, like, hardpoint, I feel, I feel like if the scores are equal on hardpoint, the game lasts longer than it would in domination, so as long as both teams are equally scoring, and you're always pressuring the hardpoint so the time limit doesn't go down, then, uh, you can get, like, a decent amount of time on this, not only that, the spawns are, like, really dirty on this, so, like, if you know the spawns of each hardpoint rotation, you can get a nice amount of kills, so Hardpoint is the play, I think, this time. I've been playing it a couple of games now, and I've had a few nukes, so yeah, I've been enjoying Hardpoint. Domination's still decent, but I think Hardpoint's uh, the play this time. So this gun is, is is a really good build, to be honest with you, but I'm, I'm not a fan of this gun, personally. It's not my favourite. I, I much prefer the, the Castoff 762 or the M4 or the TAC-56, but they're all solid guns as well. But this is an alright gun, it's pretty good, but it's not my cup of tea really. But this build, it is solid. So if you do like this gun, then definitely chuck this build on it because I think you'll do pretty good with this. Class setup is at the end of the video by the way, if you just if you do want to take it. Um, so I've been using the cast of 74U, I think, is that what it's called? I had to use that to get my polyatomic camo, I had to do like 25 headshots and then I, had, I would get a nuke ready for upload for this series. Uh, yeah, I've done all that with that gun. Wow, what a gun. Shreds so much. Unbelievable. I don't know if they buffed it or if it was like it before and I didn't realise. Wow, it's such a good gun. Maybe the attachments I put on it were really good, but that video will be coming out soon and you can have a look at my setup for that, but that's a solid gun if you like close range fights. I know it's an assault rifle, which is weird because every other COD, the 74U has been a submachine gun, but uh, it, it still acts like an SMG, I think. I don't think it's too powerful at range, but it's... It is very powerful at like close range. Maybe maybe not able to compare with the Fennec or the Lackman sub, but it is very, very fucking good. So for gameplays, I've basically... All I need to do now is the cast off 545, is that what it's called? The AK-12 looking one. Uh, once I've done that, I've done all my AR gameplays, and then I can move on to a different category. Um, I'm not going to go to SMGs, because I think it's a bit boring, and I, I, I want like a challenging one. Something that's quite interesting to watch. So I think I'm going to go to pistols after ARs, so it's... I, like that's gonna be a challenge and it's gonna be a lot of fun to do so I'll do pistols um, I'll probably do like an akimbo one in there somewhere just just for a bit of fun uh, Then I'll do SMGs another time because SMGs are quite easy. I think we all know that I, Right. I also I don't know if you've seen that but I just got I got the MGB on a 24 kill streak then uh, I don't know wh how What's going on with this game? I don't know if that's supposed to happen or what but I think I don't I think it's a glitch so I do I carry on playing quickly just to get the 30 so you know, I think 30 is the nuke, so I just carry on playing, get the Juggernaut medal, and that's the streak completed. But yeah, I don't know if that's a glitch or what. It's happened a few times now. I'm not, I'm not too sure what that's all about. But um, yeah, we, we finish off the streak here. Uh, that's the Lackman 556 assault rifle. Pretty decent gun. I, I know people love this gun, so I, I put this build on. I'm sure you'd love it even more. Not my cup of tea. There are better guns for me, but it's still, still a great gun. Great build as well. Um, like I said, the class setup is at the end of the video, so if you do want to take it, have a quick look at that. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the Nuke series, enjoying the videos. If you're new here and you liked what you see today, maybe consider subscribing. Um, it would help me out a lot. Uh, drop a like, uh, leave a comment, tell me, tell me what you think. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.